Late last year, we shared the story of Talem Lamaru, a toddler in need of a kidney transplant. Talem had to have both kidneys removed due to polycystic kidney disease. We also met Talem's parents, Darren and Desiree, who had been through some really tough times. With some generous support, we were able to present them with $25,000 and a new Toyota Corolla. Well, we've got a happy update today. After hearing about Talem's story, a woman named Michelle McKinnon reached out to see if she could be a possible donor. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Hi, buddy. How are you? Shortly after that meeting, that's two weeks ago, Michelle was able to donate a kidney to Talem and he was recently discharged from Sick Kids Hospital. Talem's mom, Desiree, and his donor, Michelle McKinnon, are here with us this morning. What a story, ladies. This is, this is just amazing. Desiree, I wanna start with you. How's Talem doing? Talem's doing really well, really well. Yeah. <laughs> the two of you beside each other already, I can see there's chemistry. There's, 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 there's a connection there. But I wanna hear more about your story, Michelle, and first, how you're doing. I uh, feel post. great. <laughs> you feel, and you look great. Thank you. But you went through a lot to get to this point, to be I able did. to do this for Talem and his family. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, my son David uh, had kidney disease of an unknown cause, uh, and I was being worked up along with my husband to be David's donor. And uh, I was a perfect match. There are six markers. I was five out of six, which is more than a perfect match. Um, but unfortunately, David had a stroke three days prior to um, our transplant date. And um, he died on the day that I was to give him my kidney. And um, on that day, just minutes after David died, I pulled the doctor aside and I said, uh, if, if there's another person who is as deserving of, this, of David's kidney, I'll donate. And um, you know that was that decision was made moments after I was already I knew I was a good candidate to be a kidney donor. So um, I found a post on Facebook completely by accident, Desiree's Desiree's plea for a kidney, and um, I thought maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. And here's what I'm going to tell you: there are no accidents <laughs> when, when it comes to things like that. So you see this Facebook post. You get in touch with Desiree. What's your reaction to all of this, Desiree? Um, when I read her message, it was obviously very emotional. I mean, it was so poignant for me because this is a woman who's like walked like the same um, like sinuous path having a sick child. So immediately I feel a connection to her and knowing that she's lived my worst fear, which is losing a child, um, I cried a long time after reading her message, but um, I felt so strongly that uh, moments after that, this is the woman that's supposed to donate to Talem. Like we had a few people who had come forward and I've always been like, just kind of pragmatic to a fault when it comes to decisions. But I feel like when it came to Michelle, like my, like I feel like my heart made the choice. Like Michelle, speaking of heart and hearts making the choice, how do you get to that place where you've just lost the closest thing to you mm -hmm. and then yet in those moments somehow find the selflessness, the heart, I'm going to say it again, to say, you know what, I'm going to try and help another family out even though I couldn't be there for my own son in the way I wanted to be. Um, I think that when I saw David on dialysis, it wasn't just David who was taking dialysis. It was it was our whole family. Actually, we were all involved in his care, and um, dialysis took almost everything away from David. He was on a machine 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so he wasn't able to swim. Um, he had difficulty going to school, things like that. And when you see all of those things th that your teenage son has has had taken away, um, and you know that there are so many other people who have those things taken away as well, you just, I just wanted to do everything that I could to, even if it was just one person, to be able to stop that, to be able to, to help that person. You're sitting beside her and you're listening to what she's saying and thinking what to yourself, Desiree? <laughs> 
Um, I love Michelle. Like, I absolutely love her. Um, I've been asked a lot, like, you know, how, how does it feel? How do you feel about Michelle? And I've tried to kind of formulate something, but I feel like there's just no, um, like, combination of words that could, like, encapsulate, like, what I feel in my heart for Michelle. Like, I just, I love her so much. I feel like we're just, we're, we're like, brought together somehow, and... I, she's going to be forever in my life. She's not getting away. <laughs> no, I don't think she wants to go anywhere either. No. You've got, a, a, it's a tournament that's dedicated to your son. That's T right. Tell us more about that. Um, so we started the David Gregory McKinnon Memorial Golf Classic uh, the year after David died. And um, it's it's been a great tournament. We have uh, wonderful supporters. We have great sponsors. Um, the same people keep returning year after year. Um, we're going to have about 200 people attending this year. So um, it's a fun day. We encourage families actually to come out together too. Uh, so if you have if you have children who golf as well, we encourage them to come out and, and golf with their parents. Like everything that we do for David's Foundation is family based. We want parents and children to be together. Because that's what it's about. It's about the family support. Because as you yeah. said so eloquently, when one family member is going through something, everybody's going yeah. through it, right? Do you feel a special bond now, Michelle, with Talem? Oh my God. <laughs> I felt that bond. Um, well, I felt the, the bond initially with Desiree because of her post. Um, when I read it, I closed the computer and I cried and I cried because I just, I, I felt so um, in tune with everything that she was going through. And then um, when I met Talem for the very first time, I remember he, he came off, he almost leapt off of me, off of the elevator. And um, it, wasn't, it wasn't the same, but it was the same sort of feeling when you see, I know Talem's not my child, but when you see your child for the very first time, that, that heart exploding love, <laughs> he is a love magnet. And when he came <laughs> off that elevator and I saw him, I just, I fell instantly in love with him. So a bond, I, I, yeah, I believe so. Do you believe in fate? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to say that because I wouldn't want to believe that it was fate for her to lose David, but I believe moving forward past that, I, I feel like the universe brought us together, like we were just connected somehow. Yeah, you saw that Facebook post for a reason, my friend. You yeah, sure did. I believe did. so. And, and look at you now because you're able to help each other and give each other strength. <laughs> Listen, you're just, it's, it's amazing, and, uh, and what a story this is, and what a privilege for us to be sitting here and be able to tell the, the rest of the country about it. Thank you so much. Thank you Desiree so much Michelle, for Michelle, what a Thank privilege you. to be able to chat with you this morning. Thank you. We're going to have a few links on our website, one to the David Gregory McKinnon Memorial Foundation, and another to more information on becoming an organ donor.